going to craft it with Louisa today. Um, I've got a little box. I called it a milk carton sort of style. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to call it now because it's almost flat. But anyway, um, ignore the holes at the top. That was me trying to put ribbon through it and I just I gave up. Um, so I went for the <laughs> um, binder clip instead. Um, and this is using the Twinkle Twinkles DSP. Which is, it's really sweet. But it's really sweet DSP. It's actually from the um, children's section. Um, and this is using um, Pool Party because this is what that colour is there. So you can get two from a sheet of 12 by 12 because you need a piece 12 by 6. Um, I'm going to use the other half, the other side. Um, so I've got a dotty side. Yay. And I've lost my stylus. So, um, start with the 12 up and you're going to score it at 2, 5 and 3 quarters, 7 and 3 quarters, and 11 and a half. Oops. So that's two, five and three quarters, seven and three quarters, eleven and a half. And excuse that phone. Um, that'll just have to ring. I don't know who that is. Sorry. Um, okay. So I've muted it. Sorry, and it's now going to ring in another room. Um, so then you're going to have it with the six up, um, and you're going to score it at one and a half. Four and a half. And then you're going to turn it over and score it at five and a half. So you've got that at one and a half, four and a half, and then I've flipped it over, I'm still on the six and I've scored it at five and a half. Okay. So, I'm going to burnish these. Oh, actually what I'm going to do is cut the panels for the cardstock. So, you need Whisper White layer. Um, and you're going to cut it at one and a half by two and a half. So this is going to be our stamping layer um, by one and a half. Yeah. And then I've got a scrap of one of the colours in here. I think you've got grey granite or basic grey, then you've got um, pool party which we're using soft sea foam, so I'm on soft sea foam. Um, cut a whisp piece of whisper white, I can't remember what, where I was up to on it, it's really thrown me that. Um, two and a half by one and a half and then I've got some just a scrap of soft sea foam that I'm going to cut at two and three quarters by one and three quarters. So apologies if I've repeated myself on that. Um, and while I've got this out, I might as well stamp it. And I'm actually using um, Dandelion Wishes. And I'm wondering if one of these other ones would fit. No, I think I'll stick with the one I was going to do. Um, I'm going to use, I made, I made a wish and you came true, is what I'm going to use. Except I've now lost the block with it all on. <laughs> oh 
my goodness. Never a dull moment. So, I've got my soft sea foam ink somewhere. It's here. Love this colour. That and mint macaron. Or macaroon, or whatever you want to call it. So, pardon my head if it gets if it's in the way, but I want that nice and straight. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with those bits just to get around the outside. Um, I'm going to do that in the soft sea thing. I suppose I could have done it in a different colour. But... So just all the way around. Like that. Okay, put that aside and build. Build the box. Okay, so I'm going to burnish these on, on the long side first. I love those, love those spots. And the pink's petal pink. So there's one at the top, sorry, where I've got two together. That one just folds back the other way. Um, and this actually is comes from the the baby section of our catalogue. Oh, it's not the day for filming, is it? The phone bleeping at me. Um, I have no intention for using this. For anything baby like. Um, of course, I don't think spots are particularly babyish. I don't think that actually is particularly. I shouldn't say babyish, particularly for babies. So, you've got the little narrow score line here, and that little um, rectangle at the bottom. I guess you can see that. I'm going to take that out. So, I'm going to wedge that. then I'm going to just take a notch out the top of that. So I'm going to come up to this end and just notch that out. And then I'm going to cut up these score lines so we've got um, the base. So I've separated all these um, and then I'm going to put glue on this tab here. You could use snail because it's paper to paper but I'm actually waiting for some snail refills. Um, and I'm waiting for the stuff from the new catalogue. <laughs> Yay! So sides in, back in front in and we're going to put some adhesive here and we're going to close that up make sure everything's squared up with itself okay and then I'm just going to grab my scissors and, and then what you want to do is with your fingers just push in and just kind of let it do its own thing. You can go down as far as you want. I kind of quite liked it a bit closer. Um, and just use your fingers just to manipulate it. Okay, and then pinch your peg from your other project and just 
heck, it doesn't go all the way. Um, I suppose you could if you put ribbon right up to that crease line, you could get it to go all the way. Um, and if you just manipulate it a bit more with your fingers. Okay, so find the front. And find the bits that we just stamped. And some adhesive along the back. Um, then we're going to pop this up on dimensions. Love these things. on the other one the um uh, baker's twine that goes with the sweet um and I want to go a bit low because I'm gonna stick my bow up there and, and I'm using our classic re ribbon in white And I'm just doing a bunny ear bow. And I can adjust that. Like so. And then I can cut this off here. Ooh. Oh. Mangle it up either way. <laughs> and mini glue dropped love mini, I don't know what I do without these mini glue dots, I really don't. Couple on the back. Stick that there. And that is the box. So, thank you very much for watching and apologies for the um, bleeping phone and I realise it's a bit of a shadow. I haven't got my normal light on it over there. Anyway, so I hope you'll give this a go. Um, I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description and please go onto my website. Um, you can subscribe to um, the newsletter where um, just another way of me keeping in touch with you. Um, and share exclusive projects that aren't on the um that I don't do a YouTube channel for or aren't on the blog and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get notified when I do new things. Um and I will see you next time. Bye.